Hey everybody and welcome back to Steam Cat. That's me. Yep. Why was that weird? And today we are in Mulberry Zoo and I'm showing you what I've done. So in the time since the last video I've made the entrance and that's about it. So we'll just do a little like walkthrough of the zoo so you would like drive through here around this way and then here you'd wait here until one of these things was open then you would drive up to get your parking ticket or like so you could park then you come through this way Ah, oh, sorry. And then you'd park over here somewhere. I stopped putting cars in about here. And then you get out of your car and come through here. Oh, I made those too big. But these are supposed to stop cars from coming through. So through here... We've got, like, a little walkway with statues on both sides. And I'd imagine, like, families and people would, like, choose a statue that they'd take a picture in front of every time. And then this area also looks pretty good at night, which I'll, which you saw in the thumbnail, possibly, if I choose to use it, which I will. And, uh, but I'll show you the nighttime view later and then here we have like a little seating area where you can get food over here and then come sit at one of these cool these tables and then there's a backstage area here with like all, all, all of the stuff you would need for like challenge or franchise mode And then you come through the entrance building, which I like. So basically, there's a bunch of little rooms here, each with a different biome. I th I don't I think this might be planes, but I'm not sure. This one is taiga, tropical, temperate. Um, this is desert. That's right. And then. This one might be planes. I'm not really sure about the two end ones. I forgot I can check real quick. So this one is... Ten oh wait, that one's temperate. This one is... Tundra. Ty no, ty taiga. And then this one's Tundra then, right? Taiga, yeah, Tundra. Then this one must be... be grassland that's right and then you'd come out through here and on your left is this thing with James Flamingo in it right now which is a mod made by Leaf Productions and the James Flamingo is just a placeholder for now hopefully we get some sort of like mandarin duck or something that I can put in here but I think this looks nice. And then on your right is like a seating area. And then up here we have the... What's it called? Um, American or Caribbean Flamingo. I made a sign. Also made by Leaf Productions in his Flamingo pack. And then there's Wild Plush, which is a gift shop you can go to. And there's like... Little statues to be plush animals so also you might notice that there's no gates on these exhibits but i just hid them because in real life i doubt like an exhibit like this would have a gate like that the keepers would pro <clears throat> the keepers would probably just like hop over the fence or something so i wanted to recreate that there there's like a little trail here that leads nowhere and then here i hid the i hid it in a rock so that that's pretty nice and then we'll go over to the other entrance of the zoo <clears throat> sorry 
with cypress trees and stuff on the road so you drive through this is like the smaller entrance that less people use you'd stop here and get your ticket then you drive through here and you can park around in any of the spots and in the middle there's like a little park here and then you come through this is like the classic entrance that was built a while ago that's basically what it is you'd come through here and on either side is the Galapagos tortoise which might change but it will probably stay it might stay Galapagos but there's a bunch of them and they can walk up this thing and go across to the both sides I made this fountain here with some stuff. There's like a little restaurant or a gift shop. Like this is a smaller gift shop. Over here we have more backstage. And over here the paths are just really wonky. <laughs> and then we have a little playground park thing here you can like kids would be at they'd be like hopping around having fun and here is a restaurant I didn't do interior but the the reason that it looks like this is because I yesterday actually I had just started I just had I had learned how to make the circles right so I built this fountain and this building and then there's a little seating area here so also I'd just like to say that there's really not gonna be any like rhyme or reason to the order that the builds are in like I might do something over here next maybe but it will probably just be a habitat here and I might start doing speed builds just they won't be super long like a 30 minute video it'll probably be closer to like around 10 minutes so hopefully that's okay but also really funny is like the guests walk across the entire zoo just to see like tortoises or flamingos or something which is funny so now i'll show you some stuff at night i've done a bit of lighting Probably the most lighting I've done. And let it readjust. So there's nothing really... Th oh, these things light up. I didn't know that. So there's nothing really much over here. The first lighting is at this area where each of the statues is being lit up. So that's pretty nice. I like this flamingo statue too, because there's more than one. I couldn't find a good way to light up the fountain. But all of these are actually light st structures. So at night they light up. And I think it looks kind of nice. I didn't do lighting over here either, but I might light up this fountain. And like the entrance. But, that's about all we've got for today. So, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.